Hey everybody, Evelyn from Pink Sheep Design here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to bring you guys a quick tutorial today, uh, just a little tip um, on how to deal with difficult yarn when you are having to actually create seaming and construction in your projects. This is really for things like wearables when you're having to sew up the shoulders or sew up the seams and maybe you're using a yarn that's a little more difficult to work with so think like chanel yarn um, faux fur things like that roving yarn um, some yarn is just not very fun to try to have to use for seaming whether that means it might snap easily uh, some yarn just kind of disintegrates when you're having to pull it tight for things like seams um, I usually use the mattress stitch for my seams and that's what I'm going to show today in the tutorial. Um, but yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around and get started. Okay, so we are talking about using um, a technique to help manage seaming up and constructing parts of our cardigan when we're using yarn that's a little difficult, a little more difficult to work with. So this yarn that I'm using is a Chanel style yarn. So you can see in this cake here, this is what I'm using. Um, this is actually Adora Ball by Hobby Brand Yarn. Um, and the issue with this yarn that I usually have is there's no good way to tie it off. You really do have to weave it all the way through to make the yarn um, stay in place and that usually leaves little pieces that stick out and even when you're having to um, knot the yarn I was trying to find a knot I don't think I have one that I can find right here but even when you're having to knot it you have to leave little ends because this yarn tends to disintegrate right around the edges so when I'm using yarn like this um, when it's time for me to seam up the edges which right now this is separated and I'm going to be placing my side seam right here um, sometimes I like to use an entirely different type of yarn to seam up my edges, which is what I'm going to do today. So I picked a yarn that is a nice um, match for this. So it's just a fun pink color. This has a lot of pink throughout, and this is the yarn I'm going to be using for the sleeves. So it's a nice, you know, complementing color. And this yarn is 100% acrylic and it's a two ply. So it's going to be nice and strong and it's going to be very easy to tie off because I can separate the yarn into two separate strands and I can tie it off. So just to show you, and I have a whole video on mattress stitch um, if you need an up close, but I am going to seam this up. Let's see how much yarn I need. So starting my mattress stitch at the bottom. Oops, there we go. I'm just gonna get this started and then I'll probably fast forward a bit as I seam this up, but I do want you guys to have a chance to see what this looks like using mattress stitch and using a yarn that is not the same yarn that you used for the actual project. Because I think some people are scared of doing this. They don't want it to look weird um, or take away from the project. Um, but I have found this can actually be extremely helpful and using mattress stitch, you create an almost invisible seam. So you're not going to see a lot of this yarn popping through, but I think if you choose your colors wisely and you pick a color, that's a nice complement to the yarn that you're using when it comes to color, it's just going to make your life a lot easier. So with Chanel yarn, it can be quite difficult to see the stitches that you're trying to work into. Some of it is just kind of feeling for the yarn. I try to work underneath at least two strands of yarn when I'm putting my needle through. Um, and then for this cardigan, I've pretty much reached, I usually go for about eight inches, uh, leave about eight inches opening for my sleeves. And that looks about right. Let's see, I think I've got a measuring tape here. So let's check that first. Yes, I am right under eight inches and I usually say seven to eight inches for an arm opening for my smaller size jackets, usually up to about a medium. Um, so we are good to go here. And as you can see, if you look close, there are a few spots where you can see the pink popping through, but because it is such a nice contrasting color um, or a complementary color, um, 
I think it's great. And even on the inside. So the Chanel is great also at hiding stitches. And since the mattress stitch is almost invisible, um, it's really a nice combination. So if you're using like a fur yarn or a Chanel style yarn, and you really are concerned, you don't feel like it's going to be the best for seaming the sides up or, you know, actually piecing your garments together. Sometimes using a different type of yarn that's easier to work with um, can just make your life a little bit easier. So since I'm at the end here, I am going to tie this off so you guys can see my process there. Let's see if I've got a pair of scissors Oop, right over here. So I'm going to cut this yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail. And I'm going to thread my needle and poke this back through to the other side. And then I'm going to flip that just enough so that I can see the inside of the armpit right here. And oh, let's see, I'm going to weave it underneath at least one or two more stitches before I split it. So I'm just going to find a couple of strands of yarn to weave that underneath, getting it away from the edge. And then I'm actually going to split the yarn. So I'm going to untwist it, take my fingernail in there. You can use your needle, um, pull that yarn apart. And then I am going to thread my needle with one of those pieces that I untwisted. And I'm going to slide that underneath at least two more strands of yarn. And now that they're separated, I can tie a nice secure knot. So when I tie my knot, I like to go around once, twice, pull slightly tight, not too tight on that first one. And then I do that again, going underneath once, underneath twice. And this one, I'm going to pull nice and tight. And if you're concerned at all, you can do that again. And do one more knot right there. And then I'm going to snip the ends. And there you go. Now I need to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to have to tie that up. Um, but that is my tip on using difficult when you're dealing with difficult yarn um, to try and create a seam or any kind of construction. You can choose an entirely different type of yarn that's maybe a little bit easier to work with. Choose a nice color that will go with your garment. Um, and it'll just add a little bit of, you know, design style, design flair. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tip. I hope it was helpful. Um, if so, you can always uh, hit the thumbs up on this video or subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I look forward to bringing you more tips and tutorials in the future. Happy hooking!